In this video, I'll show you two different methods for creating summary tasks in Microsoft Project. And if you stay all the way to the end, I'll give you a special bonus as well. So let's get started. Many years ago, I received a distressing email message from one of my colleagues. She said, Dale, there's a project manager at our company who created a project with over a thousand tasks in it, but he never included any summary tasks. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, that is absolutely a no-no. Don't do that. So why do we need to use summary tasks in a Microsoft Project schedule? Well, number one, they define the work breakdown structure or WBS of the project. Number two, they give meaningful logical organization to the project. And number three, they can be used to denote the deliverable sections of the project. So let's get started. In this project, you can see that I've created the initial task list and that I'm ready to begin creating summary tasks. However, please notice that these tasks will belong to the Product 1 summary section. These tasks will belong to the Product 2 summary section. And the last three tasks will belong to the Product 1 and 2 Integration Summary section. In Microsoft Project, there's actually two different ways to create summary tasks. Using the first method, select the task row where you want to insert a new summary task. And then on your computer keyboard, press the Insert key. That is the keyboard shortcut for creating a new blank row. Then type the name of the summary into the blank row. Followed by that, select the tasks that you want to become subtasks of the new summary section. Then in the Schedule section of your task ribbon, click the Indent Task button. Notice that Microsoft Project automatically converted Product 1 into a summary task and it automatically indented the selected tasks to make them subtasks of the new summary section. The second method for creating a new summary task is very cool. I really like this feature. To use it, what you need to do is to pre-select the tasks that you want to become subtasks of the new summary section. And then over in the Insert section of the task ribbon, click the Insert Summary Task button. Look what Microsoft Project just did. It inserted a new dummy named summary task and it automatically indented the selected tasks to make them subtasks of the new summary section. So all I need to do is to give this summary section a name. Let me go ahead and do the same thing for the last three tasks because I think this feature is just way too cool. And I'll go ahead and give it the name Products 1 and 2 Integration. So ladies and gentlemen, that's how to create summary tasks using two different methods in Microsoft Project. But you've stayed all the way to the end of the video. Therefore, it's time to show you some bonus content about using summary tasks. Check this out. As a bonus, I'd like to show you how to use that Insert Summary Task button to create summary tasks that represent the deliverables in your project. So begin the process with a blank project and then click the Insert Summary Task button. Give the name of the first deliverable to this new summary task. So in keeping with the last project, I'll call it Product 1. 
Then go to the first blank row, click the Insert Summary Task button again. Please notice that because of default functionality in Microsoft Project, the new summary task is indented as the same level as the task above it. This means that I need to outdent that new summary task. To do that, all I need to do is to click the Outdent Task button in the Task Ribbon. Then I can give it the name Product 2. Then continue the process of clicking Insert Summary Task, Outdenting the task, and giving the summary task a name. Once you've created summary tasks that represent the deliverables in your project, then you can flesh out the task list for each summary section with detailed tasks that are needed to create the actual deliverable. So there's your bonus. Enjoy creating summary tasks in your own projects. As always, I hope you found this video to be helpful. If it was, please consider subscribing to this channel if you haven't done so already. In my next video, I'll teach you how to use the Companion to Summary Tasks, which is the Milestone Tasks feature. And as always, I'll see you in my next video.